Welcome to the 2002 Winter Olympics in Salt Lake City, where two hockey superpowers, Canada and the United States, faced off in the highly anticipated gold medal game. For both nations, the game marked a long anniversary since their last Olympic gold medal in men's hockey. Canada last claimed gold 50 years ago at the 1952 Winter Olympics in Oslo, and the US won gold 22 years prior in Lake Placid when they shocked the world with the miracle on ice in 1980. The 2002 gold medal game was an all-out battle, with both teams trading goals in the early going. Leading the charge for Team Canada was their legendary captain Mario Lemieux. Lemieux was brilliant in the tournament, notching 6 points in 5 games. But it was his non-pass to set up Canada's first goal in the opening period of the gold medal game that will go down in history. With the US up 1-0, Canadian defenseman Chris Pronger delivered a pass to Lemieux in the slot. Instead of receiving the pass, Lemieux saw that Paul Correa was wide open to his left and let the pass go straight through his legs to his teammate. Correa fired the puck into the back of the net, tying the game at 1 and giving Canada some much needed momentum. Powered by two goals apiece for Maggie and Sakic, Canada captured gold with a 5-2 victory, sending Canadians into a frenzy. The game was watched by a record-breaking 10.6 million viewers in Canada and was the most watched CBC Sports program in history. That's it for this brief look back at the men's gold medal game at the 2002 Winter Olympics. Thanks for tuning in. Please like and subscribe.